Hi everybody, we're going to talk about what's on. So today I'm wearing the Armory's Model 11. Um, this is a made to order for me. So it's a corduroy suit, matching trousers, and uh, I'm wearing an Ascot Chang button down shirt, um, Drake's tie, pair of um, loafers that we never release that one day I'll get around to. And uh, from wrist check today, I've got a Cartier. So uh, why am I wearing this today? Um, Hong Kong's still a little brisk, a little chilly, and uh, I've really been enjoying wearing my corduroy suit. Uh, in fact, I wanted to show you what a corduroy suit looks like after a couple of years. I had this for two years now, and uh, I've worn it a lot, I've worn it hard, and you know, the charm of corduroy suits is that they wear in, like they age, you know? Like you look at the knees, you look at the elbows, and they're losing a little bit of color, they're lo losing a little bit of the texture, but it's nice, you know, it's nice when clothing like this develops a bit of patina, and um, you know, you can treat it kind of casually. Obviously, you can dress it up with a necktie, uh, not for like super formal occasions, but it's a really, really charming look. So if you get a chance, try a corduroy suit. Um, they are well worth a look. I have a bunch of stuff going on, so much so that I actually wrote down on a piece of paper. So firstly, um, this just came out. This is Design City Walk Hong Kong. Uh, so this is um, done by one of the Hong Kong government organizations that kind of takes care of design-related businesses or tries to promote design-related businesses in Hong Kong. And it's a lovely little guidebook for like interesting things happening in Hong Kong. And I'm very grateful because we are in here as well. Um, so the Petter Arcade, the Armory is in here. And uh, if you happen to be walking by the Petter Arcade store, please come by. We've got free copies. You can just take one and go. Uh, next up, um, Jumor and Jumor and Nigel Kayborn, who are our pop-up shops in the Pet Arcade, they are on sale right now. It's the seasonal sale. It's at a 40% discount, and there's some great deals to be had. So if you have time, come by and check them out. Uh, next, Drop93 is having a market this weekend. So we've done this before. This is the second time we're doing it. Drop93 basically invites a bunch of interesting little Hong Kong brands, Hong Kong craftsmen, and they run a marketplace um, in the space. It's this Friday and Saturday. If I check that out as well. Um, next up, Horological Society of New York classes start tomorrow. They are fully booked up now, but thank you so much to everybody who signed up for a class. You know, it's an awesome cause, and the classes themselves are super detailed, super interesting. Um, if you missed your chance this time, they'll be back in a couple more months, uh, so keep your eye out for that. Next, uh, we finally got our alcohol license. Um, I don't know if that's good for my liver or not, but we finally got the alcohol license for the bar at the Petter Arcade. And so I've definitely been nursing a martini at the end of every day uh, for quite a few days in a row. Uh, but it is a very pleasant place to have a drink. If you haven't tried it yet, please come by and check that out. Uh, finally, we are rotating the art in the concourse of the Petter Arcade. Um, so previously we had Mr. Slowboy doing a beautiful exhibition of his prints in the concourse. And next up is uh, something that I've never shown before, but I'm quite excited about. Uh, it's ukiyo-e prints. So ukiyo-e prints are Japanese woodblock prints. Um, it's sort of a similar process to like screen printing, like you do you know one color at a time, um, but you know rather than using a screen, you actually use these beautiful blocks that have been hand carved with the patterns, and then you layer it on. And uh, modern ukiyo-e actually uses a lot of interesting materials alongside the woodblock printing as well. So we got a mixture of modern and vintage ukiyo-e prints. They are very very limited. Um, and it's first come, first serve. So when that comes up later in the week, please come by and check that out as well. All right, a lot of things going on, but it's been a very exciting couple of weeks, and I'll, we have more interesting things to come. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.